Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where science is all about trying to learn various concepts related science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding reported posts part 2. The difficulty level of this question is medium and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called actions with 5 different columns, user id, post id, action date, action and extra. This table may have duplicate rows, very important line. This action column is a enum category which can take values view, like, reaction, comment, report or share. The extra column has optional information about the action such as the reason for the report or a type of reaction. Okay. We are also given a second table called removals with two different columns, post ID and remove date, post ID being the primary key for this table. Each row in this table indicates that some post was removed due to being reported or as a result of an admin review. Okay. We are asked to write a solution to find the average daily percentage of posts that got removed after being reported at spam and rounded to two decimal places. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have certain actions table. So you have various posts on the action date, whether it was viewed, liked, shared reported etc and then what is the extra information that you have then there are removal tables where basically post id 2 and 3 were removed okay so we need to find out what is the average daily removal percentage of spam so if we look at our spams so here we have one spam so on 4th of july 2019 you have one and two two different spams however and which are post id 2 and 4 but only two was removed so on 4th of july 50 percent of the posts that were reported spam were removed so 50 percent for 4th of July 2019 and then if we look at another one so we have another one on 2nd of July 2019 post ID3 the only post that was reported spam and it was removed so 100% removal so you have 50% and 100% so what is the average 75% and that is what you have in your output so to solve this question firstly what we can do is in this actions table we can append the information from the removals table to see that okay hey these are the post and and these were the various actions that were taken however these are the posts that were removed as well so what we can do is we can perform a left join so from this table called actions alias as a let us left join the removal table alias as r using the common column is post id right so using the post id column and then what we are doing is let us keep all the columns from the actions and let's keep only the r dot removal date from the removals table let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it let me just drag it to the left so we have appended the removal date for all the post and their actions that were taken now obviously if it is null so you are not able to find that particular post id in the removals table so now we need that hey the question says that removals can happen due to being reported or as a result of an admin review so what we should do is we are only concerned about actions is equal to report so let us keep only those rows where a dot action is equal to report and then if we look at our original question it says that we need to find the average daily percentage of posts that got removed after being reported as spam so the action should be report and in the extra column it should be reported as spam so we also need to make sure that yes it was reported because it was a spam so a dot extra is equal to spam okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if we look at it we are left with three different posts which are reported as a spam and then some of them were removed some were not now we need to find out for every action date what is the removal percentage so how can we do that we can go ahead group by the action date and try to find out the average removal percentage so if i go ahead and do group by a dot action date and then what we are doing is return me the action date and then we need that hey 
केस वेन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द रिमूवल परसेंटेज राइट सो वी बेसिकली इन द न्यूमिरेटर वी नीड हाउ मेनी पोस्ट वर रिमूव इफ इट वॉज रिमूव इट आर इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंट इन द रिमूवल स्टेबल एंड हेंस द रिमूव डेट कॉलम वोट बी नल सो केस वेन आर सो रिमूव डेट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द रिमूवल स्टेबल सो आर डॉट रिमूव डेट इज नॉट null that means that post was removed so is not null then you return me that post id because that is a post that was removed id and that post id is coming from the actions table so a dot post id else you return me null so else you return me null since you started a case when statement you need to end this and then what you are doing is you need to count this distinctly now why do we need to count this distinctly okay let us go ahead and let me look at this example once again so here the question says that the actions table can have duplicate rows right so for example here for 4th of july 2019 you have two posts that were reported span right now suppose there was another you know the same row was repeated twice obviously since this post id 2 was removed you are going to have removal date for two of such rows right so if you just simply go ahead and count it it is going to give you how many post were removed two however if you look at correctly since there was a duplication that is why it is coming out to be two but in reality there is only one post post id 2 that has been removed after being reported span right so that is the reason you need to count distinct because there can be duplication so once you are identifying that hey these are the number of post that were removed after being reported spam then you also need to divide by the count of the distinct post id on that particular action date because then only you can get the fraction of how many post are being removed because it is reported spam so count distinct a dot post id and we need the percentage so let us multiply this by 100 and let's alias this as removal percent okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it we have for different action days this is the removal percentage now we need for all the various days what is the average right so you need to find the average daily percentage of posts that got removed so we can go ahead and save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then finally what you need is you can basically take this common table expression and calculate average of the removal percentage and round it to two decimal places so from this table called cte let us return the average of the removal percent and round this entire thing to two decimal places and alias this as whatever is required in our output so it should be average daily percentage okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit as pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so some what tricky question because you had to firstly identify okay what all actions are being reported spam and then once we had that we found out that okay the removal percentage can be calculated it count the distinct number of posts that were removed why distinct because we saw that the question says that the actions table can have duplicate rows and we divide by the total number of distinct posts made on a certain action date and multiplied by 100 to get the removal percentage and once we had the removal percentage for each of the action dates we calculated the average and rounded to two decimal places so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video